right, so back with part two. It's just a process. It's not explaining anything. Like It's not meant to explain anything at all, whatsoever, in any way, shape, or form. It's simply to explain this is what's going on. That's it. Okay, you're asking the why question. Why does why does it happen? Not how does it happen. Okay. I got a quarter here. Okay, this is a um, let's see. This is one of the state quarters. This is a uh, this is Iowa. The Iowa state quarter. When you flip the quarter, and it lands either heads or tails, do you ask why it landed heads or tails? We know statistically that that half the time it's going to land on heads, and half the time it's going to land on tails. But do you ever question not why it's 50-50, why this particular coin at this particular moment happened to land on heads? I don't think you do. That's just the way it works. Same thing with evolution. There is really no why. But there is a how, and the how is more important than the why, because then the why then leads to who, and the who leads into a, into religion. Okay, let's say uh, there was primordial soup, and um, the fact that you're bringing up primordial soup means that you have, again, you don't understand the basics of evolution or a biogenesis. Take my glasses off. No, I'm going to take them off in a cooler way. That was kind of nerdy. <laughs> now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna do a sexy thing with him. Yeah. Not too sexy, dude. Okay. Now, evolution it is. It, it, I want to know what it is. I want an explanation of what, it, not what the process is. I know the process, or you know, most of it, as much as your your, your average, you know, semi-smart person knows. Most people don't understand it, so you're actually not very, um, you know, you're not what you're definitely one of the people who doesn't understand it. Okay, let me kind of give you a basic of evolution. Here's the simpl here's simplicity. Okay, you you're a creature. Okay, you have a desire to mate and to reproduce, okay? This is, this is just the nature of the world. We'd have a desire to mate and reproduce. That's it, okay? That, once we've actually gotten to the point of having mated, that's when evolution kicks in, because that brings up the next generation. And then what happens is, is that in each of the generations, there are mutations. In these mutations, some will be considered beneficial, some will not be considered considered beneficial. Those who are considered beneficial, you know, they're a little bit faster, a little bit taller, a little bit smarter, whatever. They have a better chance of reproducing. They then pass on those better genes. And as this continues, a stronger species or a different type of species comes into existence over millions of years. Okay, it didn't happen overnight. Okay, the first creature walking onto land did not become human for several, almost what, you know, several million years. Okay, the, the light, you know, the years it took to get, to get from the first mammal to where we are is immense. Okay, it didn't happen like that. It took a long time for it to happen. So, you know, that's how evolution works. Why? There's no why. I want to know what, no one knows this, but this is a rhetorical question. So anyone listening right now thinking you're going to be able to answer, but you won't. This is a rhetorical question no one knows right now. What the hell is it? Why, let's say there's primordial soup, uh, one cell organism is born from the magical primordial soup. Nothing magical about it. And then, why does it evolve? How? How did that start? Like... We know. 
again, this goes back to the basic theory of evolution. Change or die. That's it. Change or die. Okay? Because, you know what? If you stay the same and your buddy next to you, well, you know what? They become bigger. Well, then you're not going to be able to have, you're not going to be able to survive. Because your buddy next to you is going to be able to get the chick. You're not. Okay? And his genes are going to get passed on, not yours. That's it. You, you're asking, you're asking again, not the how question, but the why. Why is there evolution? Why is the sky blue? It just is. There is, we, you know, we can tell you, you know, because of certain things in the atmosphere and blah, 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 it's blue. Well, you know what? That's the exact same thing with evolution. Okay? But it doesn't explain why it's blue. Why the sky is blue. It doesn't explain. It explains how the sky is blue, not why the sky is blue. You're asking the exact same question here. Is anyone thinking about this? You're, you're thinking, well, species, every, every time you reproduce, you create your offering, your offer, offspring is slightly different from you, and so, yes. so on and so on and so on. But, but what? That's it. That's all there is. Is anyone not understanding that this is kind of magical? There's... It's not magical. It's natural. It's not magical. Okay, you're you're trying to put, to put something to a, pro, a natural process that it doesn't exist. The process of this magical thing called natural selection, like it, where did it come from? How did how did nature decide on this? Uh, okay, I I tried to explain this with the fine tuning argument. Nature just finds a way. Okay, what happened was is the first the first replicating DNA had a desire, okay, had, you know, just in its makeup, a need to reproduce. And so it reproduced. And it reproduced. And eventually the first cells came into existence. And they had the same desire to split and reproduce and reproduce. And guess what? This continued, this natural desire to want to reproduce. It kept going. And it kept going. And part of that is not only changing and evolving, it's just part of our nature. We want to fuck because it's part, part of our hard wiring. Okay? When I have sex with my girlfriend, it's not because, you know, of, you know, because, you know, you know, there's some, you know, I've consciously thought, yeah, you know what? Sex is something that, you know, that I really need. No, I'm just like, you know what? I'm horny. I want to fuck my girlfriend. I can't, you know, you know, to try to sit there and try to control that, it, you know, people have done it, and I applaud them, but that doesn't make it any more, you know, thing. I don't want to sit here and have to sit and wonder, why am I horny? I just know I am. Okay, I know that there's things in my brain that are telling me I'm horny. Okay, I can sit here and logically think away my horniness if I really wanted to. But I've made a conscious decision to say, you know what? No, I like the fact when I'm horny, I have a mate who I'm willing to, well, not procreate with, because we're not going to have any kids, um, not at least for any, any time in this see of future, but the base desire to want to procreate is still there, okay? This is, this is hardwired into our brains, okay? It, it's, it, that's the evolutionary drive. Every animal on this planet has a need to procreate. Every animal on this planet. Every microbe has a need to procreate. Okay, this is part of vi the, this is part of learning about viruses and everything. I got to do a third part or fourth part or how many other parts. 